Keegan and Jeff did some research and found that there are approximately 7 quintillion 492 quadrillion grains of sand on Earth. Jeff says that it is about 7 times 10 to the 15th power grains of sand. Keegan says that this is about 7 times 10 to the 18th power grains of sand. Part A. How might Jeff have determined his estimate? How might Keegan have determined his estimate? Okay, so they said 7 quintillion, which is quint means 5, 492 quadrillion, and then the first set of zeros here would be the, you know, this is this is the trillions place, this zero, then the billions, millions, thousands, ones. So massive number, right? So Jeff is saying he thinks this, this number in scientific notation is 7 times 10 to the 15th. Keegan says he thinks it's 7 times 10 to the 18th. Only one of them is right. So what do you think Jeff did to get his estimate of 10, 7 times 10 to the 15th? Well, if you notice, his coefficient, this number out in front, is 7, which makes sense because in the standard form of the number, there's a 7 out in front. So Jeff rounded, right? He excluded this um, from his number. He didn't put 7.492. He just put 7. So he estimated. And then he said ten, the power of 10 is 10 to the 15th. So what do you think he did? Well... Let's look at what else is going on in the number. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We've got 15 zeros. So I think what, if I had to guess, if I were to say what Jeff did, Jeff estimated, right? So he rounded and he rounded down. Um, and then he made the power of 10 the number of zeros he saw, which is 15. So that's that looks like what Jeff did to me. I'll give you a minute to write that. Jeff estimated or rounded down to get the 7 from 7492. And he made the power of 10, that exponent on 10, the number of zeros he saw, which was 15. Keegan, also, if at any point you need to like pause the video, go ahead and pause if I'm going too fast and you need to catch up writing. Keegan also estimated, rounded down, right? Because he ended up with seven as well as his coefficient out in front. But his power of 10 is 18, not 15. So to me, it looks like what Keegan did is he counted the places that he would have to swoop from where the decimal starts, which is you know, right? We don't see a decimal, but it's always there hiding um, in whole numbers. And he counted the swoops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's where Jeff stopped. 16, 17, 18 to make the new number 7.492 which is the goal of scientific notation, is to get the decimal point between the first two digits that aren't zero so that you can write it as a power of 10. And then he rounded it, right? So then those went away and he was left with seven. So Keegan estimated, um, rounded down, and he counted the number of place value swoops that the decimal did to write the number in scientific notation. So Keegan was correct. Keegan did this correctly. Uh, Jeff did not. Jeff counted the number of zeros, which is a really common error. Um, but you have to you have to swoop and count the total number of place value jumps that you're doing. Right? So, oh, I should put that he um, and made that the power of 10. That's more specific. And that was 18. So the exponent was 18 for Keegan. And Keegan was right. Okay.